Some time later, as a member of the Marachose Hunters, you receive a commission. Following the address provided on the message, you take a boat and arrive at this strange city. As you inhale, you can taste the slightly salty air of the docks as you begin to survey your surroundings. There aren't many people in the vicinity, but you do take note of a few others who, like you, seem to be sizing up this place. Your eyes meet, and you realize these people are fellow Marachose hunters, likely led to this location after receiving the same commission as you. You're all Marachose hunters too, right? Allow me to introduce myself. The name's Navia, monster hunter by trade and helpful neighborhood businesswoman on the side. What say you to traveling together? We can help each other out on the road. Okay, count me in. My name is Linny. I've been wandering since I was little and picked up a few less than legal tricks along the way. I was adopted by a Mara Chose hunter and later chose to follow in his footsteps. Uh, is this where you introduce your character to everyone? It sounds like they've done this dozens of times. <clears throat> My name is Farina, and, um, I grew up in a noble family. I always had a strong interest in performance and the arts. Even though I'm a Marsha Say hunter, what I really want is to be a performing artiste. Hey, that's really cool. You can do it, Farina. That's exactly how it's done. Paimon is Paimon, a good friend and companion to this Mara Chose hunter right here. I've been studying medicine ever since I was a child. I want to do my part to eradicate these monsters and use what I've learned to heal others. Oh, welcome, welcome. When we face the monsters, I'll make sure to charge in front to give everyone some cover. You can take care of the healing at the back. You open your envelopes at the same time. The message reads... To the honorable and trustworthy Mara Shose Hunters, our kingdom is currently facing a grave crisis. The lands outside the capital have been overtaken by monsters, and our people are being led astray by forces of wickedness. We beseech you, Please help us resolve this crisis, and return peace and stability to our home. Huh. The layout of this city looks super familiar. <gasps> it kind of reminds Paimon of Mondstadt! The scriptwriter must have used a real-world city as a reference when coming up with the map. <clears throat> as experienced hunters, the layout of the city reminds you of places once traveled. You recall the sight of tree-lined streets and the gentle tranquility of days gone by. Yet, as you regard the city in front of you, it appears to be little more than an empty shell. Its hollow gates are open to you, beckoning you to come forth and bring salvation back to the town. I carefully read every line of the letter and turn my attention to the signatures at the bottom. Who issued this commission to us? You see a long string of unfamiliar names. It would seem that many of the residents of the city issued this commission together. They sensed that things were not right within the kingdom and sent a distress signal to the outside world. Hmm, in that case, why don't we take a walk around the city, and see if we can learn anything from the local residents? Oh, good idea! We might be able to get some leads on the monsters and bad guys we're after. You look up, and see a tavern nearby. It appears to be open for the day. Why don't we go check out that tavern? If the novels I've read are anything to go by, taverns are usually full of information. <laughs> <laughs>